this is always the awkwardest part because it's like is it all the way live yet or is it not live <laughs> that's what i'm like are we on <laughs> no idea okay there we go hey girl hey <laughs> oh my gosh welcome to my channel Catherine. oh heck yes this is this is amazing. I feel like I watched you like during the pandemic because we like kind of blew up at the same time. I so I was like, I was like, ooh, what what kind of content is she sharing? And like you shared like vlogging tips. So it was cool. One that we like ran into each other at 30A. And now here we I, are doing a live. Like- it's crazy because we did blow up at the same time. And I feel like this has been long overdue of like us collaborating in some sort and then I don't know if everyone knows but we did run into each other in uh Florida so here we are and then we got to do New York together so hey girl yes this is so much long overdue so um anyway ah oh I should have changed the title of this hold on (gasps) wait can I edit it while I'm live I have no idea I don't do lives shoot us being people who talk about YouTube that don't right. know YouTube. <laughs> right. Wait a second. I think I stopped a lot. Did I? I have no idea. Maybe I didn't. Wait, where did it go? Oh no. I, 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 go back to my channel. I was trying to edit the um title. Oh, there we go. Okay. Hey. Okay. Are we good? So we wanted to, yeah, we're good. So we wanted to chat with you guys just about the creator house experience with Nikon. Mm -hmm. First of all, what was your initial reaction when you found out like about this entire project? Just like shock and awe. (laughs) (laughs) Honestly, it was how I got started because so my manager obviously reached out to me and was like, Hey, this is the opportunity. And I was like, I am swamped as heck renovating my house right now, but like, I will do anything to make this work. So then of course I drove to North Carolina. So that fancy had a babysitter and then flew to New York, but like (laughs) very, very cool opportunity. What about you? I know. Same. I was literally in line at home goods when I got the email and I was like, Oh mom, I was with my mom. I was like, mom, look. And she was, I was like, there was no, like, there was no details in the email, but I'm just like, the fact that Nikon even knows who I am, like what the heck pinch me. So it was, it was totally, it was such a cool experience. So let's start with you telling my channel, like what your channel is about and just a little bit more about yourself. And then we can share some more about our experiences in New York. Yeah. So hello, you guys. I'm Catherine Manning. I've got a YouTube channel called Catherine Manning. For a while, I shared like tips and tricks on how to grow on YouTube because I was on YouTube for a while, struggled for a long time to grow, learned some things, taught some people. And then it's really transitioned over time. So my messaging has always been create a life you love. And now that's renovating a house because that has been consuming my whole entire life. So that's, yeah that's me wait so okay so let's talk about the creator house itself like what were your thoughts about the actual house insane okay well for one so I'm not like a big city girl so that like big city living is so different for me but they had a ton of space in that house they like, did it was so open and bright and air it was like a creator's dream yes the white walls the like it was just like all like very aesthetic there were many spots that we could all like film from it was cool plus the rooftop I'm like give me a rooftop I know right yeah the rooftop was really nice and the little backyard was nice because a lot of times in the city you don't have any yard space but they had like a nice turf backyard if you guys haven't seen our um, videos go watch our vlogs because you can see the house Catherine does more of a formal house so mine is more like you know Oh God, someone's dog. Um, but yeah, make sure you guys go check out both of our videos because you can kind of mm-hmm. see the different perspectives that we had throughout the um, throughout the whole experience. Um, but okay, so the creators, the other creators, Brittany, Jordan, Jordan. me, and you. It was only four of us there, mm-hmm. uh, which still felt like quite a few of us but it was just enough to like still feel like we were getting to know each other so you know had you met them before or was that your first time meeting them as well 
no, I had no idea who the heck they even were. <laughs> you know, it was like one of those situations where I was like, I and what do you do? And then I like went back to my hotel room and I was like, let me look them up and see I know. <laughs> what they got going on. No, but they were so nice. And I'm so glad that they only had a small group of us there because we could be in different areas of the house filming and like not on top of each other. And we could like work together. Like we were all featured in each other's videos. Like that's so cool. Fancy is currently like jumping around playing with a ball. I'm so sorry if you're about to um, that. Okay. Yeah, it was a lot of fun meeting everyone. So basically we were in the nutshell brought to New York by Nikon to co- go to this really insanely amazing house, which mm-hmm. they call it a creator house, which is a cool concept. Like a lot of creators are starting to do this now where it's multiple creators essentially live in a house together, create content, bounce content ideas off of each other they're like constantly in content mode and yeah they like all feed each other content and channel Mm -hmm. views and all that stuff so it's really cool um and so they kind of boiled that concept down a little bit and we were all at this house in new york and had the most fun time ever but we also got to play with the camera the new z30 that they just released and it is designed specifically to create video content with. And this mm-hmm. is Nikon's first like content creator designed camera, which yeah. insane. Like what were your first impressions? I know when they set them down on the table, Catherine was like, oh my God, let me touch it. Like she, she was like, she like grabbed the camera and they, I was like, oh my God, like, I was about to touch it up. Like, <laughs> Catherine was like, oh, let me look at the settings and like, let me take pictures and video. But um, so like we were all extremely like impressed just when we first saw it. So mm-hmm. what were your initial thoughts? Yeah, no, I mean, like when we like first got to the house, they were like starting to open them on the table. And I was like, can I sneak over here? <laughs> <laughs> this is where I want to be. No, I, I mean, when I first picked it up, I was like, oh, this is very familiar. Mm-hmm. And I just like love the setup of it. Like I love, it has like a larger grip here than what I'm used to, but it's easier for me to wrap my paint covered hands around. And even when I just turned it on, I was like, oh, the quality is good. Like usually I have to mess with the settings a lot. And even in this camera, I did mess with the settings because I'm just like, I like the customization of it, but it's very user-friendly, which I feel like is great for any creator, no matter what level you're at. Yeah, it is. It's very user friendly. It's also really lightweight. So this is like the yeah. creator accessory kit that we have. So if you there's different options that you can buy just mm-hmm. the body or you know, you can buy this whole setup, which I love this setup because it's very light, it's compact and you know, it has kind of everything you need with the mic and with, you know, you can interchange the lenses. That's one of the things that I really like too. Even though yeah. I'm honestly, y'all, I don't even really be changing my lenses like that, but I do like the fact that I can, like if I need to, yeah. the option is there because I do a lot of like sit downs and vlogging. And so like, I often find myself switching between multiple cameras. When I do vlogs, I like to use one camera when I do sit downs I like to use another but I feel like I can actually do both with this because I can interchange the lenses so you know exactly that is like a huge plus that a lot of content creator cameras don't allow you to do I just I I kind of feel like I prayed for for like there are certain little glitches or not glitches but like there are certain nuances about every camera but I feel like this one kind of has the big things that I struggled with in some of my past cameras. Like it kind of like checks the boxes of those. So um, one of my favorite features is like, I'm a sucker for like the details or like the design of it. So like, I like that I can swap my battery or like my SD card without having to take yes. this tripod off. Like yeah. I hate having to do that, you know, like it's mm-hmm. stuff like that. Um and another thing that I love is the light that comes on in the front when it's recorded. Yeah. I cannot tell you, Catherine, how many times I have recorded and realized I wasn't actually recording. Or like I really? or like it turns off in the middle of me recording because it like got too hot or it, you yeah. know, the battery died or whatever. And I didn't realize. And then I'm like, oh shoot, where's the rest of the video? Like that's happened to me so many times. <laughs> So the fact that like I can see the light, if the light goes off, something ain't right. 
Like, I don't, you know, th those little things to me are like super important in making just the content creation process flow a lot seem more seamlessly. So, yes. And along with that, so a lot of cameras shut off after 30 minutes. You record for 30 yeah. minutes, they shut off. This camera doesn't have that shut off. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like that makes it so nice because you can film for as long as the memory card goes or as long as the battery goes, you can plug it in on the side over here to continue charging. And yeah. like, if you wanna like live stream or something for five hours, I have no idea that's not me, but like you can do that <laughs> with this camera. It's yeah, just, because yeah, you can plug nice. in and charge directly into the camera. Like mm -hmm. a lot of cameras, you have to take the battery out to charge exactly. it, but you can plug it right into here. So if you are doing a sit down video and you have a USB-C or whatever port this is, if you yeah. have a, that and you plug it in, you can it will feed off of that and not off of the actual battery. So it's yeah. a lot of cool like features where I'm just like, Nikon did they think like they did their homework with this one because um, even the remote, like the design of the little tripod, I'm obsessed with this little. It's so nice. Like when you're getting your thumbnail photos, because that's what I do. I usually set my camera up on a tripod and then I'll use like my phone, which this has like an app that it connects to. So you can use it on your phone to like right. start the timer. And then it like goes off in two seconds, which that's exactly what this camera does. But like, you can just use the little remote instead of having to go on your phone. Cause I know me sometimes when I'm working, I don't even have my phone in the space because I don't want the distraction. So it's nice to like not have to deal with that. You just have a remote. I need to do that. That's really good because ooh, child, sometimes I'll be getting a little distracted. Okay. <laughs> oh yes, my husband Cameron said USB-C. He's always on the text. <laughs> thanks. Um, thanks, babe. Uh, okay, someone said, okay, we got some questions in here. Oh, perfect. Um, well, how's the battery life? Well, I asked how the battery life is. Um, I think the battery is pretty good. I we're also you guys like these are our first impressions, so we're like just kind of really getting to experience the mm -hmm. cameras outside of more of a like, you know, like the creator house. We obviously got to experience them there, but like we just got them because they just released. So yeah. we're still like playing around and kind of like figuring out how we are using them in a way that works the best for us. Um, mm -hmm. So we can speak to like general features and like things that we love and like the design. But I think yeah. as we play with them more, you'll see more of our content where we are able to get a bit more in depth about like, you know, the actual like features within the camera that we are really yeah. enjoying or how we set different settings or whatever. So uh, we'll, we will share all of those things with you as we, uh, you know, continue yeah. to use it. In terms of the battery life though, just using it in New York, mine lasted almost yeah. a whole day. And that was like a whole day of filming and filming in 4K. It was yeah. a good bit of footage. Like, cause I was just constantly on off, on off, on off, but just like whatever shots I wanted to get. So like it lasted a whole day. I don't know exactly how many hours, how many hours, like the stats behind that, but that's enough for me. If I'm vlogging in a day, the battery is going to last the whole day, probably plus some depending on how long you leave your camera running. Like if you're gonna leave it running for an hour, it's obviously gonna drain your battery compared to like, oh, I just want this quick little B-roll instead of like a whole time-lapse. Right, <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I feel like I shot so much footage in New oh York. Gosh, like yeah. when I came home to edit that, I was like, oh my God, like what did I do? Like, but I wanted to overshoot because I'm like, if we mm -hmm. need to make adjustments or if I need to swap shots, which we did end up, I didn't end up needing to do. Like I wanted yeah. to have a whole bunch of options because we can't go back to New York to reshoot anything. Exactly. So that was the thing, you know, making sure we had everything. But um, so yeah, for me too, like, I think I shot, like I probably had like four or five hours worth of footage, which I never shoot that much. I know it was nuts. Uh, but I never shoot that much, but I shot so much and I had to sift through all of that. So mm -hmm. and I don't think I went through that many batteries either, but, um, I think we should talk about the remote a little bit more, uh, okay. because I, still have I have never box. seen anything like this where, oh, you still have yours in the box where you have the tripod. So like they have the tripod. But it's also like a vlog grip, which I love because I, you guys know we both vlog quite a bit. Um, but then it also expands out into a tripod. 
which this remote also works directly on here. So if you are vlogging, you can just push record right from the remote. Mm -hmm. And I liked too that once I paired it, I didn't have to keep pairing it like every single time I turn the camera on and off because yeah. that's also annoying. Like at that point, you're just like, forget it. I don't care about the remote. Let me just go push the button, run over mm -hmm. and, you know, but with this, yeah. you don't have to really worry about that. So I really like the grip. Like I say, uh, this and like the mic and everything that kind of like, you know, the whole, the, the vibe of the camera. That's really what got yeah. me, you know? Yeah. One of the things that I like about this tripod, so on top here, I don't know if you guys can see this spinny part. So it's not like you're constantly spinning this around to like get it to attach to your camera. You just have to spin the back. Yeah. It makes it so much easier. Oh, so much easier. Like it's those little things that I'm like, wow, <laughs> this is just like being a YouTuber, you know? I know. <laughs> little things that bring you joy. <laughs> I know. And quite frankly, too, I feel like we're just like really geeking out about this, but I feel like quite frankly, like if, if and, but if you create content a lot, then these things like make a difference. Yes. The fact that we, you can add an external mic is really nice because, you mm -hmm. know, some other cameras that I've, you know, that I've used previously for vlogging, like I, they flip up. So there's no option for me to, you know, attach a mic, which is problematic when I'm outside and it's windy or yes. there's a lot of background noise. Like I need an external mic. So uh, yeah. And all of this comes in that like kit, that creator accessory kit. Mm -hmm. So if you wanted to order the entire setup, you can. Yeah. And even if you can't afford it right now, because I remember like when I boss first bought my like YouTube camera, I couldn't afford like all the bells and whistles, you know, but like knowing that it has this option that in the future, you can get an external mic, like in the future, you can level up to this handheld little grip right here. Um, but otherwise like the camera as is, is good. I did test the audio, like without the mic, because I was curious. I was like, okay, how does this hold up? Obviously this does a lot better with like the wind and stuff. If you're vlogging outside having a mic you're just going to get better quality audio but otherwise i mean i filmed for probably over a year with no external mic at all and it, it's not like that big of a deal like quality audio is yes important but like if you start with a visual and work your way up you're going to be good exactly yes oh my gosh i love it anything else you want to add like you know i don't know anything else that you played around with or discovered or um, just overall thoughts about this partnership or I don't know, whatever. We just talking and vibing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kicking it right now. No, I mean, I, so yeah, like Aaron said, like we just got these cameras because we had cameras there, but it was obviously before launch. So like we didn't have them ourselves. So like, I still have yet to go in and like totally customize all my settings. One of my favorite features, let me actually just like take this off so you guys can see this um, right on the top here this little dial guy. So it's currently on U1. It's got U2, U3. It's got manual, aperture, shutter, auto, like all the things that you need, but you can customize the settings and save it to that one user. The way I refer to it is like a car. You know, if you got like your car and you can be like, this is user one and it like automatically adjusts your seat to like yeah. that person driving, you know, like this camera has the same thing. And that's the way I operated it the whole time when I was in New York, I customized all my features and I saved it to U1. And then even I had someone on the production team take my camera and they customized even more settings. And I'm like, I wish I remembered exactly what settings they said. Uh -huh. It was like so good. <laughs> they were so nice. They were so nice. The whole production team. So have you ever done something like that, like to that scale? Like I know you were, you got started in like media or like news. Yeah. Or yeah. I do have a background in news. Um, so I have been on so many shoots and like, yes, in terms of the production. Yes. Because when I worked at National Geographic, I had like a whole crew and like I did yeah. all that kind of stuff. Um, but never like for my own business. No. Like yeah. I haven't been on set like that for something that I was doing yet. So that was super cool. Like, I think the overall experience was just so good for us to just like dream even bigger, you know, like I, yeah. I feel like Nikon is one of those dream brands that it's just like, it's like pinch me, you know, like we were saying when we first got on and you know, I think that that just kind of pushed me and gave me some more momentum when I got home. I was just like, oh my God, like I got to like really 
I got to do this, you know, like I got to get to work, you know, even though we've already been doing so great. And I think if we, that's why they wanted to work with us. Um, And I'm, I'm excited because this isn't just like a one-off partnership. Like this Mm -hmm. is like an ongoing thing. So you're going to, you guys are going to see more about the camera and about our experiences with it um, throughout, you know, the next few months or however long, I don't know, like a while. Yeah. Um, we've got some time with Nikon. So it's really cool to be able to just have something like this and to have been able to work mm-hmm. with people like you and Brittany and Jordan. And I don't know, I would love to do this again. Yeah. Like, seriously. That's what I'm like anytime, like Nikon, if you want to send me out to New York again, game on <laughs> just next time, like fancy's coming. Um, but <laughs> <laughs> right. And now I've got Audi, so she's going to have time too. The squad is growing over here. No, we're, um, I'm from Michigan. Catherine is. I'm currently in Alabama. Yeah, she's in Alabama. Um, we're going to use, were you, are I think they mean, are you going to use this camera going forward with your content? Yes. This is going to be my, yeah, my main vlogging camera. I'm so excited because honestly, like I mentioned this a million times and like every piece of content I created like for this launch, but like low light has always been a struggle for me. Yeah. My house gets good lighting in like this room. And then the rest of the house, it's like not great. And I'm someone like, I don't want to set up all my lights when I'm vlogging. Like, I just want it to be natural. Right. You and I would always have so grain. Good. Yeah. Yeah. And this camera, like I didn't, like I, I went into like the bathroom and closed the door just to like see. I, I was I like, I was and it did really well. And I went into the basement yes. um, and it, yeah. it picked up so well. Like in the video, I almost feel like people might think I'm lying because of how bright my face looked, even though yeah. I was in the basement and it was really dark. So it picks up, like it, it does so well in low light. Mm-hmm. And another thing um, before we wrap this up is that like I'm a stickler about autofocus as well because I know vlogging, like I'm moving a lot. And there have also been times, I know I said like there have been times where I've recorded and it stopped. There have also been times when I've recorded and I haven't been in focus. So, um, and that really irritates me. So with autofocus, especially with vlogging when you're moving a lot and like you're, you know, it's just a lot. The autofocus focuses really well. It like zeroes mm-hmm. in on your eye and then it yep. uses your eye to focus. So it's, it's, it's pretty sharp. Like it's pretty sharp. Yeah. So, they also um, have, I'm like, let me see how many different settings. So they have, there's eight different settings on here in terms of autofocus. So like people is one of them. They also have autofocus for animals, which I have yet to try with fancy, but I am so oh, excited yes, to try with fancy. Does. But otherwise, like you can do like single point, you can obviously set it to like manual focus, the basic stuff, autofocus just for a general area. If you're vlogging and it's like mainly yourself, you're probably going to keep it on people, but there are other settings that you can autofocus with. Yeah. And Cameron just said, talk about how much you've been looking forward to a new vlog camera. I have literally been like searching for the next perfect vlog camera. Like I have been using my, like my last vlog camera since I pretty much started my channel and I was just like there were little nuances like the battery thing like the mic thing like where I wanted to just like bump it up a little bit like the quality but I also couldn't find like the perfect one and then literally like that's when Nikon reached out and I was like oh my god like this is crazy and I I didn't get my hopes up until we got there and I actually experienced the camera and Mm -hmm. then I was like okay I got the new camera and Cameron he literally could not wait until I got home because I kept talking about it I was like see once we get the new Nikons like we can do this and I can you know blah 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 and he was just like okay girl so when we got him he actually took it out of the box and like looked at it and like play it with it because Cameron does a lot of my shooting like when I'm doing a lot of sit down videos he sets everything up he like edits Mm -hmm. everything so like he was like okay you weren't lying and I was like see I told you (laughs) so yes you guys I highly recommend I think you should check it out um I will have a link in the description with the camera and like information Mm -hmm. if you want to look more into the Z30 but overall even if you create TikToks mainly or Instagram reels like short form video content that's vertical you can you know turn the camera you know vertically and record and send it to your phone through the app and it is like a very seamless process so I you know we both posted content today everything that we posted today that's sponsored by Nikon has been shot with the Z30 so you can really see like what the quality is um even our reels our Instagram stories all of it so 
Um, go check it out. Let us know if you have any more questions and, and just keep up with our channels moving forward. If you do want more information on, you know, mm -hmm. how we're using it and, you know, just more insight on the actual camera itself, because like I said, these are going to be our main cameras. So we'll, we'll be able to dive even deeper as we experience them a bit more. Yeah. I'm planning on doing a whole video on like all the settings that I set within okay. this because even like like this little this thing spins right here even customizing what that does <laughs> oh yeah. that's what i do i'm like i customize that like the shutter button here and like a couple of other things so i'm going to share like a full video on like here's my setup here's how i get this like quality image and everything with this I camera love so, that. that's yeah. a really good idea yeah i love that well thanks girl and we're yeah. gonna do a live on Catherine's channel on july mm -hmm. 14. heck yeah so y'all got to make sure y'all are tuned in for that. So make sure you guys subscribe to Catherine's channel. Um, anything else, Catherine? I think that's it. I think so too, girl. Well, thank you, Nikon, again, for sponsoring this live, for sponsoring us with this whole partnership. <laughs> yeah. um, and just for making this happen. I mean, I think they really did such a, an incredible job kind of piecing together pros and cons of other cameras and like, like making mm -hmm. it into this. Um, I'm super excited to create some more content with it. So thank y'all yeah. so much. And thank you all for tuning in. And until next time, we will see y'all later. Now I just got to figure out how to end this. Hold on.